Google Classroom makes managing student Google Apps files easier. Setting it up is simple and fast. Teachers can assign and share files to students with just a few clicks. Files are named the way you want them to be, and you can immediately monitor student progress. It takes away the need for students to make a copy of files and share it with the teacher. You will love it. I'll show you how easy it is to set up your class. If you're logged into Chrome and you've installed the Chrome app from the web store, you can just click on the app. If you haven't installed the app, you can install it, or you can simply go to classroom.google.com. Of course, you'll need to be logged on with your school Google account. Now, the first time you go to Google Classroom, you'll be asked a few questions, such as, are you a teacher or are you a student? Click the plus sign in the upper right-hand corner and choose Create Class you'll give your class a name. An example, examples could be like Mrs. Shoemaker, 5th grade, 8th grade social studies, biology. You can give your class a section number or you can leave that blank. And then you click the blue Create button. Okay, your class has been created. You can leave it as is or you can change the look of it. If you don't like the purple bubble look, you can click Change Class Theme see what themes are available, and choose another. You may want to add materials that students refer to often throughout the year, such as a syllabus, a schedule, classroom management plan, or whatnot. Go to About and scroll to the bottom of the page where it says Add Material. Let's say I want a syllabus. And my syllabus is in Google Drive. So I click Google Drive and I search for the syllabus. There it is. Click Add and Post. There it is. You'll be able to post announcements and assignments and it'll show up right here in the stream. There are settings for allowing students to comment or not. Go to Students and change the setting here. So I think the default is students can post and comment, students can only comment, or only teacher can post or comment. Most teachers that I know choose to have it set to only teacher can post or comment and change the settings based on the assignment whether they want students to be able to comment. That's it. Now you're set up and you're ready to have students sign up to join your classroom. Be sure to write down the class code and post it somewhere in large letters or on your website or whatever. Have students go to classroom.google.com they can also go to the web store and install the Chrome app. They'll click on plus just like you did. Once they enter the code, they're in. Here are some things that teachers can do with Google Classroom. Click on stream. If you'd like to, they have a tour. Take the tour to see what all you can do. The main things you'll do is share an announcement with your class. So you click on announcement and you'll use this to display a message to your class. You can also attach a Google file or links or YouTube videos. You can post to one class or several classes by just clicking more than one box and then just click the post button. You can also add an assignment. This is just like posting an announcement. So you have the same buttons, but there are a few things that are added. You can add a due date. Date and time. And you can choose which classes. You, if you have several classes, you can send the assignment to one class or more than one by just clicking in the boxes for your other classes. Your students will see a button 
to click to turn in their assignments. Let's say you want to post a Google file, perhaps a question or a prompt. In this case, it's a prompt about photosynthesis. So I've already created a prompt in Google Documents about photosynthesis. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive and find my file that's called photosynthesis and click the blue Add button. Next you'll want to change the settings for viewing options. There's a drop-down list. Students can view the file, students can edit the file, or make a copy for each student. So if you chose students can edit, they all will be able to access the, the one file. So be careful about using that settings. Usually, you'll make a copy for each student. Once you've made that, made your selections, you'll click the blue Assign button. A folder will automatically be added to your Google Drive, and it'll be titled Classroom. So go to your drive, open up, the, find the Classroom folder. I didn't create that, it was created for me. And notice that I have a Biology folder here. You'll soon have a folder for every assignment that you post, as well as a folder that's called Templates, Do Not Edit. And if you edit, you're going to, if, if you end up deleting the template folder or modifying it in any way, you're going to have problems, so don't, um, don't try doing that. To see information about each assignment, you'll just click on the assignment title from the timeline. I have one test student in here, and you can see at a glance that she has not uh, turned in the assignment yet. Now, even though the student hasn't yet turned in the assignment, you can always check in and see how they're doing. If you click on the student's name, you'll see that the student's work is in progress, and you, there's a link to it. Notice that the, the file is called Photosynthesis, that's what I called it, with her, la her name. So if you click on it, you can see what the student has been up to, and you can see that the student has added an image to the document so far. If you want to, once you review it, you could add a comment, and that goes only to the student, and then you post it. The student would see it next time they log in. Once a student clicks the Turn In button on their end, you will, you will see that the status is done. Once the student turns in an assignment, they can no longer edit it until you have reviewed it and returned it to them. So let's say that um, okay, the student has turned in the assignment, and you have left some feedback, and you want the student to um, fix something. So you select the name of the student and click on Return. So now you can give uh, another note if you'd like, and you cl once you click the button, the student now has uh, editing rights once again. To get back to the timeline, in the upper left-hand corner, click the arrow. Oh, and if, at any time you can make, you can edit your assignments or announcements. Click on the three little lines here and choose Edit. You can also delete them. So the system is very basic, which is why most teachers love it so much. It takes away the issues of students not naming files correctly and forgetting to share them with the teacher. Files are organized and easy to manage. Google, I'm sure, will be adding more features in the future based on teacher feedback. I hope you'll give Google Classroom a try. Let me know if you need any help.